There's a saying that goes, insanity is defined by doing the same thing every single time over and over and expecting a different result. If that's how you feel in 2023, then today we're going to talk about the three things that you're going to need in your coaching business to make your business profitable in 2024. So stay tuned. If you're new to this channel, I'm Michelle and I am a visibility and marketing coach and I work with female coaches to help them to get seen, get her and get clients so that they can turn a passion for coaching into a profitable business. And if you're joining this channel for the first time, welcome. And if you're coming back to this channel, welcome back. So there's a saying that goes, insanity is defined by doing things over and over and expecting a different result. So Perhaps you're here because you've been feeling that you're doing the same thing over and over and that same thing is in your marketing strategy. Maybe you even struggle with some shiny object syndrome where you see one coach who said, well, you know, that's all go to LinkedIn because LinkedIn is where you can find all the high paying clients. So you decided to drop everything else and then head over to LinkedIn or perhaps you heard something else that came up on Instagram and Instagram is where all the coaches would be. Then you drop everything else that you were doing on LinkedIn and then you hop over to Instagram. If that's how you've been feeling in 2023 and you haven't seen your business growing, then today I'm going to share three things that you must have in your coaching business to make your business profitable in 2024. One of the problems that I see a lot of female coaches, especially if you're first starting out or perhaps you're hitting that three-year mark and you're feeling kind of lost in the crowd and you're not quite sure First of all, you don't have that consistency and we all know that consistency is really the key to your visibility and your marketing success. If you're not visible for your coaching business, chances are your potential client is probably not going to be able to find you because they have no idea of even to where to look for you in the first place. So you might even find yourself going from places to places and network to network or um, platform to platform, but there's not a single thing that you have tried that have worked. Now, perhaps you've been doing a lot of social media posting, but you have no idea of what to come up with more posts in order to get that traffic and get that audience to start liking and clicking and buying from you. And so you're trying out a lot of different things, but none of these pieces actually piece together in a very cohesive way that would actually drive the traffic into your business so that you have that consistent flow on your calendar to get booking, to get discovery call, to get all the things that you wanted to do in order for your coaching business to become a full-time business. And I know this is a real struggle for many coaches because a lot of you are still working full time, you know, on a nine to five job. And I don't encourage someone to all of a sudden, you know what, today I'm going to quit and I'm going to walk out of my workplace. And there's no security and support for you financially. And that becomes itself a really big um, energy block to actually having to overcome. Because having a profitable business, it's not going to be something that happens overnight. It takes time, it takes energy, it takes your dedication to actually want to step into it and then start building it. Starting in 2024, the right way from the get-go, number one is I would really sit down and think about what is it that you need in order to have that income to be able to replace your current work. And if you're not able to replace it at the moment and you don't have the leads, you don't have the potential client or you don't have the volume for you to replace it, I would highly recommend that you stay in your full-time job. I know it is uncomfortable. I know it is not fulfilling, but you need something that would pay the bill, whether it's a part-time work or a per diem work, or you stay in your full-time work. And until you can comfortably get into a position that will place yourself in a position where your income can be replaced, then you can think about, okay, maybe I want to submit my resignation letter to the to, to, if you're doing any type of planning at the end of the year and in the beginning of the year, I will encourage you to think about that and keep that in the back of your mind because that is going to come up again and again if financial situation becomes an issue for you. Now, 
What are the three things that you're going to absolutely need in your coaching business in order for this business to be profitable? Number one is you need to have a client attraction method or blueprint. And this blueprint is going to allow you to look at your business and evaluate exactly how do I get in front of my potential client. Now, if you are in person, um, if you're more doing in the in-person, you love the in-person engagement, you love the in-person interaction, then I would think about what within your network that you can tap into or to attend or to become a member of something that you feel comfortable, that you feel where people can interact with you and learn more about what you do. So that's the in-person in-person method of how you can create that client attraction blueprint. Now, for if you're in the virtual world, then social media is really your biggest platform where you can stay in front of strangers and followers and audience who don't know much about you and to create that awareness that your business exists. So your step number one is to create some type of client attraction blueprint that works for you. And you're going to hear a lot about different coaches and different businesses or maybe marketing agency that offer you this type of blueprint. Essentially, what that blueprint looks like is the method of how you attract a potential client, which is a potential complete stranger who come across, maybe it's your video, maybe it's your blog post, maybe it's your social media um, content that you'll put out to the world. Any type of um, content that you create, that you put it out and send it out into the world, that becomes your client attraction um, method that you can use to bring people closer to your business. So the first thing that you need in your coaching business to make it a profitable business is you want to think about and look at what feels right for you that you comfortably and can effortlessly, continuously and consistently showing up and it would be easy for you. For some of us, you may be videos. For some of us, you may be social media posts like Instagram posts or something that we can write. One of my clients love to write and actually several of them <laughs> love to write. So the method that they use in their client attraction blueprint is to use a blog post or they're writing newsletter to their audience or they're writing social media post to post on their Instagram or on their Facebook. So that is their way of creating that client attraction blueprint. And everyone is different. Some of us may be more comfortable with video. One of my clients, she love and enjoy producing video and she's really good at it. She used to do a lot of voiceover. So she had all the equipments and lighting in the house and now she can actually ex bring them out again and use it in her coaching business. So the first thing first is that you got to find what works for you and do more of it because you know that this it is something that it had worked for you in the past. It's something that you can easily adapt to and use. The second thing that you're going to need in your coaching business to make it a profitable business is you need to have a story that anchors your purpose, your reason of having this business. I cannot tell you how many times I've been asked on a podcast episode or during an interview, whether it's on a feature article or newsletters or a podcast, every single interview that I go to, the first question that people would ask is, tell me about yourself. So you need to find an anchor within your story that would allow you to anchor your business into the purpose of why you're having this business. So you need to be able to describe your origin stories. Where did you come from? How did you begin? And what made you decide that coaching is something that you're passionate about? So the second most important things that you're going to need in your business in order to make it profitable is you need to have that clarity of what that story is about. And you'll hear a lot of this term brand story. And essentially a brand story is where you can anchor your business mission and purpose into this origin story so that the audience have better sense and understanding of what your business is about. So that is the second thing that you're going to need in your coaching business to make it a profitable business in 2024. The last thing that you're going to need in your coaching business to make it profitable business is that you're going to need to have a content creation framework. Now I cannot tell you how 
how many times I've seen coaches struggling to produce content and every time they put out something, it always a hit or miss. Some days it's great, fantastic post, but other days it just missed the mark. And earlier we talked about insanity is doing the same thing over and over by expecting different results. So if you're creating a post that always starts in a certain way or you're always talking about the same thing over and over, for example, if you keep sharing your discovery call every single post and you always sound promoted, people are going to tune you out very quickly and that is the last thing that you wanted to do to your audience if you want to get them to click, like, and buying what you have to sell. So it is important to have a content creation framework where you can hook them, you can teach them, you can tell them a story, and you can ask them when the time is right to actually sign up with you. And it is much more powerful and engaging and it doesn't come across salesy. There are going to be five essential elements in a content creation framework. You need to have a hook, you need to have a promise, you need to tell them a story so that they can find it relatable, and you need to teach a lesson based on the stories that you have anchored your business in and based on what does it mean for your audience and what do they need to know from the post or from the content that they're reading. And then lastly, you never ever want to leave out a call to action. And this does not mean that you share your discovery calendar every single time. Again, insanity is repeating and doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. So if you notice that your calendar is filled with spider webs and it's all filled with crickets, then perhaps you're not doing it right. So today I have shared three things that you're going to need in 2024 in order to make your business a profitable business and you becoming a profitable coach. I'm having a mega event coming up for you in, on January 15 through 19 where I am going to take you behind the scene of showing you all these three steps in much, much more details. If you are a female coach who's been trying to put these marketing strategies pieces by pieces together, then Visibility Marketing Bootcamp is right for you. I'm going to show you these three steps of how I help my clients to get eight clients within 48 hours of a course launch and others to get their clients within 90 days. The registration is open and so you're going to find a link in the description box down below. Go ahead and grab a seat and this is completely free and complimentary. I'm going to show you the exact three steps of how to put all this together so that 2024 would be different for you.